Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving quadratic equations by factoring. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 15a squared minus 3a equals 3 minus 7a, and we want to solve this by factoring. Well, let's get everything over to the left-hand side. Let's add a 7a to both sides, and let's subtract a 3 to both sides. The right-hand side cancels, and we're left with 15a squared on the left. Negative 3a plus, that's an a, 7a, is, well, a 4a. And then we have a minus 3 here, and that's equal to 0. Well, right off the bat, I can't really see something that factors here, so I'm going to do it by grouping. 15 times a 3 is a, uh, what is it, 45. Okay? And that's a negative, well, we have to find two numbers that multiply to be a negative 45, right? 15 times a negative 3, negative 45. So we're going to find two numbers that multiply to be negative 45, but as we're going through, we're going to find, okay, if they add it to be 4, we're kind of done here. Positive 4. When I think of 45, I always start with, like, well, 5 times 9. And my first guess here, well, 5 times 9 here, I know I can combine some high, how, if, well, a negative 5, right? Negative 5 times 9 is a negative 45. Add them together, and I get a positive 4a, or 4. So we're actually done. This is, these are the numbers we're going to use. So I don't have to go through the rest of the factors, or multiples of 45. So 15a squared comes down, and then I'm going to put a minus 5a here, plus 9a, minus 3, equals 0. And again, notice 5a plus 9a equals that 4a. Okay, so it's the same equation. Well, 15a squared and 5a both have a 5a in it. I pull out a 5a, and I'm left with, well, 3a minus 1. The second part here, both have a 3 in it. Pull out a 3, and I have a 3a, again, minus 1, and that's equal to 0. Notice 3a minus 1 and 3a minus 1. Pull that out from both parts. I have 3a minus 1 here, and now it's being multiplied by the 5a comes down, and plus a 3, and that equals 0. So now we have it in factored form, so we can set both parts now equal to 0. 3a minus 1 equals 0, and 5a plus 3 equals 0. And now we're going to solve for a. We add a 1 to both sides. 3a equals a positive 1. Divide both sides by 3 and a equals one-third. Subtract a 3 to both sides here. 5a equals a negative 3. Divide both sides by 5, and a equals a negative 3 fifths. So we have two solutions here. a equals one-third, and a negative 3 fifths. And that is, after all this, our final answer. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com